Hello YouTube and welcome to Channel AQ. In today's video, we are going to replace the battery on an Acer Aspire Series E5574G. Launched back in 2015, this laptop is running a Core i5 processor with 8 gigabits of RAM. It has a NVIDIA GeForce 920M 2GB dedicated graphics RAM. This is the first time that this laptop battery will be replaced. The current situation is not very good. The battery is not even detected by the laptop. Initially, I thought that this was a Windows or BIOS issue and tried all the possible ways to update the drivers. However, none of these worked and now I have turned to the last option of replacing the battery. Before we dive into the disassembly, please note that electronic devices need to be handled with care. If you have no prior experience, please take the device to a service center. Proceed at your own risk. Getting into this laptop is very simple. We first remove the central screw that secures the optical disk drive and then slide it out. Once this is done, there are plenty of screws holding down the back shell of the laptop, close to 17. A good thing about these is that they are all of the same size and we don't need to remember the placements. There are three more screws on the left just by the optical drive bay. These are of different size, so let's keep them separately. Now, let's start opening up the back shell from the optical drive bay. Applying some pressure on the plastic panel, it pops out right away. From here, we can use the plastic pry piece to work around the corners. An important thing to note is that the speaker on this laptop are attached to the rear shell as well. Hence there is a wire that connects them to the motherboard at the bottom right side of the laptop. We need to carefully lift the shell just enough to access the connector and unplug it. Once this is unplugged, we can lift the rear panel and keep it aside. Now, we have access to all the components on the motherboard. Since the battery is the only thing that needs replacing, I'm not going to meddle with other components since the laptop does not have any other issues. The sleek cylindrical battery pack is connected to the motherboard at the top. The connector is easily accessible. 
One thing that I love about this laptop is that the layout is very simple and organized. All the components can be easily identified and replaced if necessary. Compared to the Asus that I cracked open earlier, this was a cakewalk. If you have not checked that video out yet, click on the link in the description below. Getting back to the replacement, the battery slides out without trouble and then we can use a plastic pry tool to disconnect the cable. I was able to get a replacement on the online market. I will leave a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and connect the battery and ensure that the cable is not flexed much. With this done, we can start the process of reassembly. We slide the battery back into its bracket and make sure that the cable is tucked in under the motherboard. We can then proceed with connecting the speaker cable to the motherboard. Once this is done, we can then press fit the back panel We can now secure the back shell with all the screws that we had removed earlier. Remember that the three screws near the optical disk drive are of different size. We can now slide in the optical disk drive into place and secure it with the central screw. Time to check if we have done it all right. The laptop powers on right away. And there we have it. The battery has been detected and is charged to 64% out of the box. 
Let's run a quick command and generate the battery report. For this, we need to open command prompt by typing CMD in the start menu and then run it as an administrator. Now let's type in the command, which you will find in the description below. This will generate a path to an HTML file that has been created in the System32 folder. Opening up the report gives us a brief description of the laptop and the full details of the battery we just installed. We can see that since this is a brand new battery, the report has not registered any charge cycles yet. Hence, I will be conditioning the battery with a couple of complete charge cycles to test the performance. This has been a successful replacement, guys. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. To make sure you don't miss out on the future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.